This video is about the center of history here in Cebu City. I am here right now in front of our Cebu City Hall. The Cebu City Hall is very significant if you want to know about the history of Cebu City. This area here, as far as I'm concerned, is the most historic place in Cebu City about its history. In front of City Hall, the back of City Hall, the west side and the east side, you are all surrounded by the history of Cebu. Now this is the front of City Hall as you call it. You got the entrance, you got the flag, but right in front of City Hall is the most historic one, the most photographed, the most popular, the most known place on Cebu City, which is the Cross of Magellan. And this is right across the City Hall, right in front. And on the back of the Cross of Magellan is the Santo Nino Church. So you can see all the posters right now here in Santo Nino because it's the commemoration of the 500 years of Christianity. Also, today is Friday. So it's the devotion for Santo Nino. That's why every Friday and Wednesday the traffic is diverted to get it away from the roads that or the routes, the roads of the public transport that's going to here because it is the days of the devotion. So you see there the Magellan's Cross is not allowed to be opened up yet by the mayor. So all the people that want to see the Magellan's Cross will just have to put up with looking at it through the fence. Candles have been thrown inside for the devotees of the Magellan's Cross. So this is the Magellan's Cross that was erected here April 21, 1521. This cross is of Tendala wood, encases the original cross planted by Ferdinand Magellan on this very site on April 21, 1521. So the original cross is inside that cross. So since it's all locked in, nobody can get in so all the devotees of the santo nino that's also praying with the cross is only throwing on the candles they can't light it up so it's just all over the place so for those tourists or those visitors here that wants to know more about the history of cebu you need to the first one you need to visit is our city hall that is the seat of our history now this is the logo for the commemoration of Christianity which has been celebrated this year 1521 so it's year 2021 is now the 500 years of Christianity now you know that behind the cross is the Santo Nino's Church and in fact, there's a building there. That's the Colegio de Santo Nino. And that's the Basilica. I won't go in there right now because I'm not appropriately dressed. I am in, I'm just wearing a sleeveless. <laughs> and I don't want to... Because you're not supposed to go to church if you're wearing shorts or, or sleeveless. But I know people don't mind that one anymore. Because there's loads of people going in in shorts 
but I want to tour you around. Anyway, it's Friday. There's loads of devotees there. I want to avoid the crowd as well as much as I can. But this is the front side of the city hall, which is our Santo Nino Church. And Santo Nino represent was given by Magellan to the Queen of Cebu when he arrived here on this very site. Now let's go back. That's the city hall. And if you go, if you're facing the city hall, you're going to the east side, which is this way. That is where Plaza Independencia is located. And if you follow this road here, this will take you to Plaza Independencia. You can even see Port San Pedro from here. So we'll just let you have a glimpse of that and then I'll go back to the other side to which magnifies what I say that City Hall is one place you should visit if you want to know the history of Cebu City. One most historical site here in Cebu City. Now there you can see the familiar buildings. Sampagita Suites. This is the BPI building. And there's the Port San Pedro, the end of this road. That's the Plaza Independencia. And if you're facing again the City Hall, and you know, on the west side, that is Magaliani Street and also the most oldest market in Cebu City which is Carbon Market. So Carbon Market is on the west side. Now if you go to the end, which is the south side, the back of City Hall, that's when the old and new history is there. You will see the old Chinese museum, which is not open yet. And the newest history that's happening in Cebu is the building of the CCLX. So this is our city hall grounds here in Cebu City and I will take you to the back. You will see the Cebu Chinese Museum that's soon to be open. You have two monuments here in the front as well. Monument of Vicente Rama and the other side is the monument of Sergio Osmeña Jr. Prince City Hall is still there and that building on the back the Gutianko building keep ablin in Chinese Museum oh it's our new refurbished Chinese Museum I was asking the guard like is the Chinese Museum open so this is the side that goes towards the back of City Hall and on this one there's the Chinese Museum like I mentioned the Gotianko building is now refurbished to showcase the museum and on the back of City Hall you will also see the building site of CCLX the new historical landmark for Cebu City. So this way it's coming from the east. I mean the west side of City Hall is Carbon Market, the oldest market here in Cebu. And here we have to go cross over. And this is a very busy street by the way. Yesterday was holiday here in Cebu. I think all over the Philippines it was the end of some Muslim holiday. 
Ramadan, I think it was. I'll have to cross. And still have to cross this small gap of road. But over here in the back, this is where the back of City Hall looked like. Now this is going towards the west side of City Hall, our oldest market in Cebu, Carbon Market. The, this Chinese museum is actually closed so I can't take you in there. But I'll just show you the glimpse of what is here around City Hall, especially for my fellow Cebuanos around. This is now made into a park. This is what the carbon market prospective is. The carbon market that will be modernized by Mega Wide. So on the back of our city hall, that's Carbon Market. This is the back of our city hall. You will see the Senior Citizens Park. And the other side is the new legislative building of a uh, finance building of the city hall. So here, that's the better experience called Puso Village of the new carbon market. Because Carbon Market was established in 1909. So the different perspective of the new Carbon Market. It's very, very windy here right now. So the park is being refurbished by the Mega Wide. It's so busy. You still got this carbon children. That's the finance office now of the city hall. And from here, you can see the new part of history, the CCLX, who is now coming to its almost their completion. And this is the designated area of parking here in the back of City Hall.
So those areas like a shanty area there, it's all stuck up there. So I won't go through because maybe there's a big problem why the cars are stuck up there. I'll just go on this side. In here you see the aduana building that used to be an old hotel. That's the subject of my ghost hotel. An old hotel here in Cebu but now that historical building that withstand the test of ty typhoon time and war has been left like that with not being refurbished or developed for tourism so you got all here the produce that will be taken to carbon market now because I'm just giving you a tour around here in the most the seat of historical sites here in Cebu City the all here the farmers deploying their crops ready for the weekend it'll be a 24-hour operation deploying all their items ready to sell The sad thing about we had a parking area now but it's not being cemented by the government so if you look at that area there during rainy season your car parked there we pull of mud and this one as well in front of the aduana building is also a designated parking area <laughs> so parking here is actually free but there's a lot of people who will be asking something from you because they will like to assist you when you park or when you go out so that's the old aduana building and we're look, going through the east side of city hall which will connect you to plaza independencia because hassle is this face mask and face shield And this area here, during the normal times, is where the nighttime bars of Cebu City is being located. But as of the moment, there's a lot of restaurants and bars that is closed here. There is a lot of restaurants here are mostly eat-all-you-can seafood thing. There you can see that's that's the seafood house but across it now it's all just space for lease and also this is the parking area where I managed to park but there have an R resto bar it's closed Bora Bay restaurant, pizza, beer, it's also closed. And this one, the Lee's Resto Bar, it's also closed. But this area near the Plaza Independencia 
are actually full of restaurants and bar but now only a few survive there eat all you can 250 only this one jams And you have here unlimited platter 299 and then the chill and resto bar KKD stick SD key and barbecue they are the one that's remaining open So let's check out this jam, eat all you can, 299. So what's the 299? Why is it, Mom? It's a la carte crab. Lahi is a crab. So the crab there is 248 per person and into 48 ga. A la carte crab. So this crab also is different price. And this one. Until when mo open? 8 p.m. Ra? Every 30 to 8 p.m. Oh, 7, more than 7 30 in the morning? Or 11 30. 11 30 in the morning until 8 p.m. Pro before ga, pila, on some ora sa mo close. Ah, uh, kuan. Mo abut give me morning, mam gani, mga Lagi. Mga midnight. Lagi. Okay, no, okay. Mamate mga battery sa mga. Nay, magkanta di. Yeah. They used to have like. Uh, before the pandemic they used to open until the wee hours in the morning because they used to have a live band while you're eating your seafood but now they only open until 8 p.m so this is jams lechon and seafood house you have lechon shrimp tahong which is uh, mussels talaba which is the oysters and then another pork lukot this um Something from the clam, kinila, which is the salad, fish salad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Larang, guso, seaweed, puso, of course. That's the. For appetizer, I'm sorry. Ginamos with cucumber, which is cucumber with those tiny anchovies and pritong isda. So the crabs, dahi sa chak brian. Yes, ma'am, it's a la carte, 248 pesos. Say a la carte ka nang. Uh, one serve, ma'am. One serve lang. Mm -hmm. For 248. Ah, okay. So pila kabok ang one serving. Which is serve? Ah, uh, ma'am, mostly ang serving namo is for crabs sa isa ka serve. Mostly, ginatimbang magigit siya namo mo. Yeah, so how, how many crabs oh, in one serving? Four. Four. Mga gagmay gagmay siya, ma'am. Four. Pero medyo dag po siya, ma'am. Mga two. Two. Ah. Oh. So the two, that's 248. Additional, kung kuan. Kung, kung mo order ka crab. Ka, oh. uh, and, yeah, in yung drinks is San Miguel, mm. flavored beer, and the stallion. Yes. So, this is the ones that survive here. Is Jams, Lechon House, and can you said, Anli Chicken Wings. Sige, thank you, ga, ha. Salamat, gang. Tanawa ko dong, ha. Can I see? And this one, another restaurant that's open here in SRP. It's SRP 299 Plather, new unlimited, only chicken wings with three flavors, only scallops, one serve pork belly, one serve shrimp, squid bites or crabs, only rice, bottom is icy and free sinigang soup. So this is just one of the few restaurants that survived this pandemic that's happening all around Cebu City right now. Another historical site that you see on the east side of City Hall is also the Malacanang of Cebu. Unfortunately, the Malacanang of Cebu has never been um, renovated or even maintained as a tourist attraction. Again, it's just there as a dilapidated building for you to just, oh, what a waste. I hope 
in the future there will be like a task force or something like a history heritage group that will protect all these historical monuments historical buildings that we have here in Cebu especially here in the Cebu city now from here you can see obviously the upcoming CCLX I will try to cross over but this is quite a dangerous road I need to cross it from where those parked cars is Because it's a two roadway so you need to cross half of it first before you can continue on So this is the bay side of where you are looking at the back part of City Hall. And you can see the progress of the CCLX that some channels have been doing it every day. But I am showing this to you because this is related to what I'm showing you that the City Hall is our seat of historical site. This is the new history, the CCLX. And this is like a boulevard that you can sit down and mesmerize by the view of the seawater. But what you can see here is the local swimming is the locals fishing. So it seems to be getting there that we will be driving through this 8.5 kilometer new CCLX road. It really stinks around here and you know what happened some of these locals are actually making them this as their toilets there's loads of them in here but it really stinks This is how it looks like from here. That's the boat that's ducking in. Kokalyong Supercat. And that's in front of our Malacanang in Cebu. And all this evening resto bars is now closed. And this is on the way to the SRP Road. This is also the deployment area of those trucks that's carrying items from the Roro of other island or going to Bohol. It's near the port area 
they will carry all items aboard the Roros and carry it to the other islands. There you go, this is our Bay Boulevard here in Cebu City. Although a lot of locals, a lot of people are still enjoying the sights around here. But it's gotta be <laughs> clean up because they just leave their rubbish there. I am not trying to get it se not seen in the camera but it's unfortunate you can see it between the rocks all the rubbish of the locals that's having a party swimming here fishing here and leave their rubbish around so there you are this is one significant place you should visit here in Cebu city is our city hall the seat of our history in Cebu